Welcome back. The news in details. Prime Minister Mustafa Medbouli announced on Monday the start of the production of the coronavirus vaccine locally. The Premier made the announcement at a joint press conference with Minister of Health, Hela Zaid. Prime Minister Mustafa Madbouli and Minister of Health Hal Zayed held a press conference on Monday to announce Egypt's first production of the coronavirus vaccine by the Egyptian holding company for biological products and vaccines, Vexera. Speaking during the press conference, Madbouli said the President Abdel Fattah Sisi had given the directives to start manufacturing the coronavirus vaccine locally, in addition to securing the biggest number of doses from vaccines approved by the World Health Organization through contracts with different producing companies. He noted that about 1 million doses were produced so far at a rate of 300,000 doses daily. The Premier said also that Egypt has asked the Chinese side to double the raw material provided to Egypt to produce used the vaccine to allow for the production of 18 million doses by the end of the year. This would provide enough doses for vaccinating 40 million people. Vaxera has received 1,400 liters of the raw Sinovac vaccine to manufacture 2.25 million doses. The Ministry of Health has cooperated with Chinese company Sinovac to start producing the vaccine against the novel coronavirus COVID-19. The first production line will provide 40 million doses of the Sinovac Vexera, which has an efficiency rate of over 80 percent. The Premier also said that a new Vexera factory in the 6th of October city will produce 3 million doses daily. He noted also that when the new factory starts its production, Egypt will not need to import vaccines. Prime Minister Mustafa Medbouli inspected on Monday the Grand Egyptian Museum project to follow up on the progress of the implementation and work to improve the surrounding area. Speaking during his inspection tour, Medbouli said that the GEM is one of the, the mega projects carried out by the state. Medbouli added that there is a clear assignment by President Assisi to implement this project with the highest standards to match the great ancient Egyptian civilization and to reflect the state's keenness to preserve its archaeological sites. Foreign Minister Sameh Shukri continues his visit to New York on Monday to prepare for a UN Security Council session scheduled for Thursday to discuss the Ethiopian Nile Dam. The session was requested by Cairo and Khartoum. Foreign Ministry spokesman Ahmad Hafiz said that Shukri is to hold a number of meetings with foreign ministers and permanent representatives of member states in the Security Council. During the talks, Shukri is to stress on Cairo's stance which calls for reaching a legally binding agreement over filling and operating of the dam that takes into consideration the interests of the three countries and preserves Egypt's water rights and interests. Minister of Water Resources and Irrigation Mohamed Abdullahi received on Monday an official letter from his Ethiopian counterpart stating that his country has started the process of the second filling of the Grand Ethiopian Dam Reservoir. For his part, Abdullahi sent back an official letter to the Ethiopian minister to inform him of Egypt's categorical rejection of this unilateral measure which is an explicit and serious breach of the Declaration of Principles Agreement as well as violation of international laws that govern projects built on common basins of international rivers, including the Nile. He added that the exploitation of the Nile River resources is regulated by covenants and agreements that obligate Ethiopia to respect Egypt's water rights and interests and to prevent harm to it. Meanwhile, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs has also sent the letter addressed by Abdullahi to the Ethiopian minister to the head of the UN Security Council of this dangerous development, which once again reveals Ethiopia's bad intentions and its insistence on taking unilateral measures towards the issue without a final binding agreement that takes into account the interests of the three countries. The Higher Committee for Managing the Coronavirus Crisis has decided to increase the allowed occupancy rate in hotels 
restaurants, cafes and theatres to reach 70% instead of 50. This came during the committee's meeting headed by Prime Minister Mustafa Madbouli and Minister of Health Heda Zaid. During the meeting, the minister reviewed a report on procedures taken to curb the spread of the virus. Egypt has been gradually easing pandemic restrictions since June 1st as coronavirus infections slow down. Welcome back. Egypt's stock market indices ended fluctuated on Monday. The market capitalization reached 670.3 billion Egyptian pounds after dealings of 2.6 billion. The benchmark EGX30 added 0.03%. The EGX70 was down 0.03%. And the EGX100 declined by 0.1%.